Welcome back, lovely people. Today, we're not going to talk about Boeing. We're going to talk about Airbus. That'll make a change. <laughs> it's the end of the A380. The A380, a two-deck super jumbo, which was going to take the world by storm, has pretty well come to an end. Air France, one of Airbus's most loyal customers, has delivered an A380 to a scrapyard in Malta. So, what went wrong? And why is this Leviathan of the Sky no longer popular? The A380 is literally engineering genius. You have to understand that Airbus Industries is a pan-European organization and some of the logistics to get A380 parts from different European countries to its final assembly in Toulouse, France, were incredible. So the plane was built and we were promised bars, spiral staircases, even jacuzzis of unsurpassed luxury. But wait, I saw through that initially. It was obviously a bulk people carrier. The new economic for airlines is low cost, high efficiency, kind of not very flying from cheaper airports and having maybe two or 300 people. A classic example is that we can fly from France to Oakland on a Boeing Dreamliner with a couple of hundred people on board. It used to not make sense. It used to be the jumbo jet or the 777 and the A380 was looking for that market, but times have changed. But not all over the world. There is still one airline making a profit from the A380 and that's because of very unique economic circumstances. The Middle East needs a lot of migrant workers, and most of them come from the Indian subcontinent area. So an A380 packed with no jacuzzi, just economy seats, flying from India to one of the uh, Emirates states with workers on board still works. And I think that is going to be the final economic model for the large A380. It was a fantastic plane, quiet, stable, easy to fly, and enormous. It did have some issues. I guess the number one issue was the double deck configuration. So airports had to have double decker offloads for passengers, which was expensive to install. Plus it's extremely heavy, so aprons and other ramp areas had to be strengthened to take the A380. But I celebrate its design, but I kind of guess that it wouldn't be the low-cost, ultra-luxury, double-decker airliner of the future. It sadly only makes money, and this is kind of rude of me, but I mean it as a people carrier. The truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.